Hello there and welcome to Black Jackal Gaming. We're going to take a look at the Primaris Reaver Squad, which is a Reaver Phobos unit that's always struggled for purpose since it's been launched in 8th and 9th edition. Uh, it comes with a couple of good keywords such as scouts, deep strike and can ignore vertical movement. Uh, it's got precision weapons. It's relatively cheap, but there are options in the codex that do essentially a lot the same thing for cheaper. It's got some nice battle shock abilities. It's got a couple of leaders that can join the unit to give it a couple of decent buffs just to bump it up that little bit. So they come in a 5 or 10 man unit, costing 85 or 170 points. Pretty standard profile at movement 6, toughness 4, 3 up save, 2 wounds, leadership 6 and 1 objective control. They come as standard with the scouts 6 keyword, so at the start the first battle round before uh, the first command phase you can move these guys up to 6 inches. Uh, they have two pieces of war gear that you can equip to both of them for free. Uh, they can have both of them at the same time. So the first one is the grav shoot, which gives you the deep strike keyword, which allows you to um, come in from strategic reserves at any point on the battlefield outside of nine inches of an enemy unit. And then the other option is the grapnel launcher, which allows you to ignore vertical distances when you're moving, falling back, charging or advancing, which is quite nice. They come with standard ballistic skill 3 and their range options are they come with the special issue pistol as default. This is pistol and precision keywords. It's 12 inches, 1 attack, strength 4, 1 damage. You can opt to take the bolt carbine as well but you do lose the combat knife. So the bolt carbine has precision keyword as well. 24 inches, 2 attack, strength 4, 1 damage. Then we go over to melee which is weapon skill 3. Now, if you do opt to take the bolt combine, then you do just have the close combat weapon, which is three attacks, strength four, one damage. But if you do decide just to keep the specialist issue bolt pistol, you get the combat knife, which has the precision keyword, four attacks, strength four, one damage. So in the majority of cases, you really are just gonna to opt to take the bolt carbine because you're getting the additional range and the additional shot. And all you're losing really is um, one additional attack in melee. So the majority of the time you are just going to take the bolt carbine and lose the combat knife anyway. Your sergeant does come equipped with the combat knife so you do have that one additional attack in melee. So Reavers come with two abilities. The first one being Fearsome Assault. Now at the start of the fight phase, any enemy unit that is within engagement range of this squad, they have to take a battle shock test. And then this also plays into the terror troops ability which is an aura so any enemy unit within six inches of your reaver squad if they have to take a battle shock or a leadership test you have to subtract one from that test so you've got this it's a bit of a niche ability to maybe throw them onto an objective get them into combat and it might be an objective that allows you to score additional secondary or tertiary points it could be something such as like area denial or holding opposition um, objectives by the end of your turn. There's a couple of options in there. This allows you to potentially flip the objective, uh, get them to fail the, the test, and just take a couple of extra points home. So Reavers have been in a very strange position since they, they come into 40k. They are a nice looking kit. Uh, they're quite a nice kit to make as well. They're not too hard to put together and there's a fair few options and dynamic poses you can have in there. The problem is that they don't really serve a true purpose. They're not a combat unit. They're not a shooting unit. Um, the main thing is to do with uh, morale and battle shock. And none of those mechanics have been that particularly challenging uh, to the enemy unit since they've come into the game. So they're in a bit of a weird place, but there are some buffs and combos you can give them to get a little bit more out of them. And some of this plays into the fact that they do come with the precision keyword uh, where well, they're not going to do a lot of damage into characters but just having that option to make certain armies a little bit fearful of them coming in because a couple of failed saves and you can easily kill some good supporting characters and some factions so the first one we've got up is the lieutenant in the full boss armor this comes with lethal hits uh, which is very nice when you've got 10 shots plus the lieutenant uh, weapon coming in with the precision keyword um, after you've been selected to shoot you can move up to d6 inches as well giving you a little bit more 
uh, movement shenanigans early game as when you're starting you are potentially um, starting right up to the border of your deployment zone there are ways to give you infiltration as well to start you further up the field and then you can move up to d6 and then you can uh, that's after you've already moved uh, and if you're taking certain um, detachments as well then you're going to get the assault keyword so you could uh, advance as well still fire your weapons and move a further d6 which is quite nice then you've got the lieutenant in reaver armor this again gives it lethal hits and then he adds three inches onto the terror troops ability um, so this isn't going to come up too often but having that nice little nine inch aura around you um, if you're against any factions where the leadership isn't great and it's easy to make them um, fail the test either by having abilities or uh, potentially just by uh, lowering the amount of models in the squad then you are going to have a couple of more cases where there's going to be failed morale uh, in your game and then the final one is the captain in the full boss armor he gets the free strat use um, which is quite nice once a turn it allows you to double up some strats as well and some of them are quite useful in some of the detachments so this there's three main detachments these guys are going to be quite good in and it's the three detachments that you, you find a lot of the time get the most use out of the infantry units or just units in general so the first one and one of the best is the vanguard spearhead so outside 12 inches they're minus one to hit and they gain the benefit to cover allowing them to stick around a little bit longer there's a strat for when you're an objective uh, called deadly prize which makes the objective sticky so then you hold on to it and then if an enemy unit does move onto the objective on a two plus they do d3 mortal wounds just pumping a couple of extra mortal wounds uh i'm making some some of those really think about whether it's worth trying to take an objective if there's only a one model in the unit or say a character that's low on on wounds potentially they're going to be able to get some victory points by moving on to this objective but ultimately they could die as well and not actually take control of the objective and then there's another one called strike from shadows so when you're outside of 12 inches of your your target you improve the ballistic skill and ap uh, of your range attacks this is quite nice when you are trying to target characters and you've potentially got one of the lieutenants with you so you're getting lethal hits on so you're having the minimum of 10 shots just from the five man unit with precision you're then hitting on twos and you've got minus one ap so there's a good chance that if you're targeting a t3 character that's three or four wounds there's a good chance you might actually be able to take him out in one the next attachment is the anvil siege force this gains you the heavy keyword when you're stationary so you get that plus one to your ballistic skill uh, there's a a piece of war gear called architect of war which allows you to ignore cut the benefits of cover for the targeted enemy unit uh, just minimizing them having the ability to increase their armor save making them slightly more deadly and then you've got the another stratagem called battle drill recall this gives them sustained hit one on range attacks and on a five plus it will be a critical hit if they're stationary so again if you've got the the uh, lieutenant in full boss armor and or in reaver armor and they've got lethal hits you've then got sustained hits on a five plus on that as well as the lethal hits on the six allowing you just to push some extra damage in and almost guaranteeing you these kills on these toughness three three four wound characters then the final one being the firestorm assault force you're getting the assault keyword and if you're targeting something within 12 inches so kind of the opposite of the fangard spearhead you want to be closer to your target in this instance you're then getting the plus one strength to your weapons so strength five weapons are, are nothing to laugh about especially if you are targeting some of the slightly more medium strength supporting units that are going to be the toughness four so you will be wounded on the threes instead and then there's a nice strategy called crucible of battle and then if you target your closest eligible unit within six inches it's plus one to wound so already you're on a, a strength five so then you're wounded on threes if it's a toughness four and the plus one to wound you're wounded on twos so these toughness three toughness four um, targets that you're going into you're really going to have the ability to try and knock these on the head quite early game so there you have it with the reavers they're a bit of a strange squad they're quite expensive and a lot of what they do can be carried out by things such as scouts or the assault squad they're going to give you the same benefits of um, scoring objectives and secondary objectives and just scoring points in general uh, some of them are a little bit more killy some of them are a little bit faster but having that precision keyword knocks them 
in the ballpark of the other ones they're probably slightly too expensive they could do with coming down by probably around 10 points to make them a little bit more palatable to take thank you for watching the video if you have any comments then pop them below in the comment section if you enjoyed the video then please hit the like button as it greatly helps the channel hit the subscribe button to see any future warhammer content take it easy and see you next time for more grim darkness from the 41st millennium